Yes, folks, we're back to this clock. It is about 7 a.m. on Wednesday morning. Good morning. Time for another vlog. Hey, guys, so it's Wednesday morning. Um, I'm actually off to work today. Hi guys, so I'm on my way to the office. As you can see, I have sunglasses because the sun is very bright and it's right in my face and I can't see without them. So, sunglasses it is. It's almost like a summer sun. So today should be a relatively quiet day. I will be working this weekend, so I'll take a quiet day. I actually had an early unboxing yesterday. Um, that video is probably already out there um, before this one will be posted. Um, but I had ordered a case for my Canon T4i, a portable case, so I can carry it around without carrying the whole bag. And uh, I uploaded that. So if you guys haven't checked it out, uh, you should go into my channel and find it. It's unboxing number eight. I should also be receiving my Mophie Helium. I received an email yesterday that it's shipped and it's due to arrive on Valentine's Day, which is tomorrow. So that's good too. And when I get that, I will unbox that and upload that video. Uh, the unboxing videos are easier to edit and post because they're all filmed with the camera. And generally, it's not like 15 or 20 minutes of video that I have to sort through and chop out parts. Generally I do it all in one sitting, maybe a couple of takes and that's about it. So you know those videos are pretty short. So that's the reason why I was able to upload the unboxing the other day and I'll be able to upload the unboxing for the Mophie as well. But for the daily vlogs because I take so much footage I have to go through all of it and edit it and listen to it and see if it makes sense as I'm editing it. I installed uh, Premiere Pro on my laptop, which uh, I also need to do a, a review on, but uh, I'll be getting to that, you know, shortly. And it seems to have worked a little better, actually. I was able to actually go through the, I edited the um, unboxing number eight video with my Premiere Pro on the Windows machine. And that was pretty good. I'm not gonna say it was perfect. Um, there were the portions where you know the computer would lock up, and I have to wait for it to catch up. So it seems like the Adobe products consume a lot of disk space, disk writing, disk reading, um, and overall PC uh, operability. So that is interesting. But I do want to edit the next few videos with that because I want to see if I'll be able to pick up on it relatively quickly. Um, I mean, the software itself is not very complicated to use now that I've used it a few times already. And I was able to whiz through that unboxing video edit rather quickly. Uh, once I figured out how to export the file into a movie file, then I had to go in and upload it directly on YouTube, which really wasn't a big deal. But um, it was pretty painless. Um, the render only took about an hour, which is not bad. Usually on the Mac, it takes a couple of hours. Uh, but the Mac also would render it and upload it to YouTube all simultaneously. So we'll have to see. Um, my trial is running out on Adobe, so I need to make a decision if I'm going to just go with that or go with Final Cut Pro. I do like Final Cut Pro, but in order for it to run properly, I'd, I'd need to upgrade the Mac because the, the computer just isn't strong enough to support it. I mean, I need to upgrade to like um, an i7 processor, um, at least 16 gigs of memory, uh, and I also need to get a solid state drive so that it, it runs a little faster. But, you know, the options out there for Mac are just way too expensive to support a upgrade right now um, and I can't do it right at this second so I need to 
take a look, take a step back and, and figure out my uh, priorities first and then after all that's said and done see if I can uh, if I can do an upgrade but I need to do a short term upgrade in the short term in the short term um, so I'm not really sure yet what I plan to do regardless if I go with the subscription or not the, the license is valid for uh, multiple computers so I could use um, well they say multiple computers but only use that once one time so it probably checks online to see if the license is in use or not. So like if I'm using it on my laptop, I can't also have it installed on a Mac and use it at the same time. I need another license. But if I'm only editing on one machine at a time, then I can use it either on one or the other. So that's kind of nice that I could be flexible like that. Um, obviously with the Final Cut Pro, I can't do that because it's only for Mac. So I wouldn't be able to use it on a PC. So that's actually going to be a pretty good lifesaver for me because I'll be able to essentially leave my laptop for editing movies um, and then leave my Mac for other things. And then when I'm able to upgrade eventually, then I'll just upgrade and I can continue to use the software I've been using. I could use it either on Mac or I could use it on Windows. So that's actually pretty good. That's one of the biggest selling points for me is that I can use the software on both systems. If I could save up for it, maybe for like my birthday or something, which is in July, then I could I could substantiate the expense then because I'll have saved up money for it. Uh, so I think that would make more sense and I can get away with editing videos on my Windows machine for the time being. These are actually, um, these are actually Oakley sunglasses, but they're baseball themed. Um, last year, they were selling baseball themed Oakley glasses. All the, all the teams, all the major league baseball teams had a particular style. It's the same frame. The only difference is in the color of the lens and then the, and then the glass uh, of the of the frame, you know, these, it actually has the um, it has the team logo engraved in it. So that's kind of nice. And obviously it's in the team colors. So I'm obviously I'm a Mets fan, so it's a it's blue and, and orange. I'm almost at the office and I hate this intersection. Like right off the parkway, there's like 18 lanes of cars that are trying to get into one lane to turn and the other lane to go forward. My day stays quiet and I'll be able to head over to the um, to the uh, Jersey Shore outlets. It's actually not a, more than a few minutes away from, from the office and I'll be able to have some lunch there as well uh, but I wanted to, I wanted to see a, a few stores. I need some shoes and you know some things I need to look at and I'd rather buy them from an outlet store than buy them retail because I can save a couple dollars so guys I am arriving at the office so I'll check in a little later hopefully it's lunch time I have a headache oh that office they have like the air conditioning running or something it is cold my head is frozen Twisty, turny roads. You guys are going to go dizzy as I navigate through this. Snow season is definitely tried my patience. Actually, the center is right here. I don't know if you guys can see the signs and stuff. So it's really not very far. I don't usually go in this entrance though, uh, because this is just the uh, other extreme of the center. I usually go into the main entrance because that's where the food is. So yeah, I had wanted to come maybe the week before or the week before that because that's usually when the sales are going on for the winter stuff. Now I, I don't think I'll really 
find many sales because now they're pumping out all of the spring stuff. So it's a quaint little outlet mall. It's actually quite nice. It's a little far from home though, so when I'm working down here, I usually try to take advantage and I'll come down here if I need something. I don't think it would be worth the drive, you know, the 65 miles to come down here. Just, oh, I'm just going to, I feel like going to the outlet mall today. Let me drive 65 miles. Very cloudy out. That's for sure. Boy, it's cold out. It's the calm before the storm, people. That was a bust, but I kind of predicted it would be. The chicken sandwich I had was really good, actually, so at least my lunch was good. Oh, well, now it looks like the sun's coming out, and it's been about an hour later. So yeah, this, uh, this little back way is very picturesque, but of course it's winter, so there's nothing here. But if you drive during like the spring and summer, it's all green. It's really nice to look at. Oh, and we're at the end now. And now we're back to somewhat civilization. Through the magic of video, it is evening. It is very late in the evening. Well, not very late, but later than normal. It's almost 7 p.m. right now. And I am on my way home. Fairly productive day, all in all. But I figured I would quickly check in and uh, let you guys know what I'm up to. And I'm up to driving. Hey guys, so I'm editing my vlog from yesterday, vlog 25. So hopefully I'll be able to upload that before I go to bed tonight. I'm using my laptop as you can see. And I'm using Premiere Pro. Um, I really want to start trying to use this software more because I'll be able to use it on any system, whether it's Mac or Windows. I think that's a better thing for me. So I have the flexibility of editing videos with whatever is available to me. So I think that's a good thing.